The Dead Sea, a saltwater lake situated between Israel and Jordan, is diminishing at a startling pace. Its water level is dropping by over three feet annually. This rapid decline signals a severe environmental crisis in one of the planet's most extraordinary ecosystems. The Dead Sea, rich in historical, cultural, and ecological value, is confronting a critical threat to its existence. Contrary to its name, the Dead Sea is actually a landlocked lake, meaning it has no natural outflow. It depends on a fragile balance of water inflow and evaporation to sustain its size. This balance has been severely disrupted in recent years, putting the Dead Sea on a dangerous path. This video examines the reasons behind the Dead Sea's decline and its repercussions. We'll look into the human activities contributing to this environmental catastrophe, the effects on the surrounding ecosystem and local populations, and explore possible solutions to this urgent problem. The plight of the Dead Sea underscores the interconnectedness of human actions and environmental health. It emphasizes the critical need for sustainable water management in a region facing growing water scarcity. The Dead Sea, renowned for its incredibly high salt content, has fascinated explorers and scholars for ages. Its distinctive features, such as its buoyancy and mineral-laden mud, have drawn visitors in search of relaxation and therapeutic benefits. Ancient societies were well aware of the Dead Sea's healing properties. It has long been a refuge for those seeking relief from skin conditions and respiratory issues. The hypersaline waters, nearly ten times saltier than the ocean, offer an otherworldly experience for swimmers. Swimmers can effortlessly float on the surface, a testament to the water's density. The Dead Sea's charm goes beyond its healing properties. It holds significant historical and religious value. Its shores have seen the rise and fall of empires and have been the setting for biblical stories. Yet, the very essence of the Dead Sea, its salinity, its history, and its ecological importance, is in jeopardy. The falling water levels are causing the shoreline to retreat significantly. This exposes vast salt deposits, leading to the formation of sinkholes that pose a risk to those near the water's edge. The main reason for the Dead Sea's decline is the reduced flow of the Jordan River, its primary water source. The Jordan River, which once flowed abundantly into the Dead Sea, has now been reduced to a mere trickle in several areas. This is primarily due to water diversion projects by Israel, Jordan, and Syria. These nations grappling with their own water shortages have dammed and diverted the Jordan River's water for agriculture, industry, and domestic needs. While these diversions have been essential for supporting growing populations and economies, they have significantly impacted the Dead Sea. The reduced freshwater inflow has upset the delicate balance of the Dead Sea's ecosystem. With less water entering, evaporation rates remain high due to the region's dry climate. This imbalance leads to a rapid drop in the water level. The repercussions of this decline are extensive, impacting not only the environment but also the livelihoods of those who rely on the Dead Sea. The shrinking Dead Sea is causing major economic challenges, especially for the tourism sector. The retreating shoreline and the appearance of sinkholes have compelled many resorts and businesses to either move or close down. The once booming tourism industry, a key source of revenue and jobs for the area, now faces an uncertain future. The Dead Sea's unique minerals have also drawn industries focused on extracting potash, bromine, and magnesium. These industries depend on the hypersaline water of the Dead Sea for their processes. But as the water level continues to fall, the sustainability of these industries is at risk. They must adapt to the changing conditions, which leads to higher production costs and economic instability. The environmental and economic impacts of the Dead Sea's decline are closely linked. The decreasing water levels not only endanger the ecosystem, but also the livelihoods of those who rely on the Dead Sea for tourism, mineral extraction and other economic activities. The receding shoreline of the Dead Sea has introduced a new danger, sinkholes. These sinkholes, some large enough to engulf entire buildings, are appearing at a disturbing pace. They result from the dropping water levels, which dissolve underground salt layers, leading to unstable ground that can collapse unexpectedly. The sinkholes present a serious hazard to locals, visitors, and infrastructure. They have already consumed parts of roads, farmland, and tourist facilities. The appearance of sinkholes is a stark visual indicator of the Dead Sea's fragile condition. They are a persistent safety threat and a symbol of the environmental decline in the area. The once bustling tourist spots along the Dead Sea are now marked by deserted resorts, their structures crumbling near the ever-expanding sinkholes. These ghostly resorts serve as a chilling reminder of the potential outcomes of inaction. The decline of the Dead Sea is not merely an environmental issue. It is also a geopolitical dilemma. 
The Jordan River, the primary water source for the Dead Sea, traverses a region fraught with political tensions and competing demands for water. Israel, Jordan, and Syria, all grappling with water scarcity, have enacted water management policies that prioritize their own needs, often to the detriment of the Dead Sea. The distribution of water resources in the Jordan River Basin is a complex and contentious matter. Historical conflicts, political instability and mistrust have obstructed efforts to achieve a sustainable and equitable solution for sharing this vital resource. Although there have been attempts at cooperation, such as the 1994 peace treaty between Israel and Jordan, which included water-sharing provisions, these agreements have often failed to address the fundamental causes of the Dead Sea's decline. The political intricacies surrounding water management in the region highlight the challenges of finding a solution that meets the needs of all stakeholders. Despite the dire situation, there remains a glimmer of hope for the Dead Sea. Several bold initiatives have been proposed to restore its diminishing waters. One notable proposal is the Red Sea Dead Sea Water Conveyance Project, which plans to channel water from the Red Sea to the Dead Sea through a pipeline. If realized, this project could help mitigate the Dead Sea's decline and supply essential water resources to Jordan and Israel. However, the Red Sea Dead Sea project faces significant opposition. Critics are concerned about its potential environmental repercussions, such as algal blooms and the mixing of different water chemistries. The project's high costs and the technical difficulties of transporting water over long distances also present major obstacles. Despite these challenges, the Red Sea Dead Sea project marks a significant effort to address the Dead Sea's decline. It underscores the increasing recognition of the need for innovative solutions to combat water scarcity and environmental degradation in the region. The situation of the Dead Sea is a powerful illustration of the global water crisis and the deep connection between human activities and the environment. As the world faces climate change, population growth, and rising water demands, the Dead Sea's story underscores the urgent need for sustainable water management and global cooperation. The future of the Dead Sea is uncertain. Saving this natural wonder from vanishing entirely depends on the collective efforts of the nations sharing its waters and the international community. It calls for a shift from short-term fixes to long-term sustainability, from competing over limited resources to fostering cooperation and shared responsibility. The decline of the Dead Sea is a wake-up call, urging us to reconsider our relationship with water, this invaluable and limited resource. It reminds us that environmental degradation transcends political boundaries and that the cost of inaction can be catastrophic. The fate of the Dead Sea mirrors the global water crisis and serves as a stark reminder of the environmental challenges we face in the 21st century.